A car plunged into the river in Logan Canyon this afternoon. It's the same spot where we've seen accidents in the past, including a recent accident in which three children were pulled from their car. New specialist Alex Cabrero, Cabrero is on the scene for us. Alex. And Bruce, this accident happened, as you mentioned, almost in the very same spot where those three children had to be rescued. That's at mile marker 474, which is roughly 12 to 13 miles from the mouth of the canyon on the Logan side. Now, let's show you some video from today's accident. A driver was just heading up to Beaver Mountain Ski Resort to do some skiing when she hit some snow and ice, spun out of control. She tried to overcorrect her car, but that's when the car went down a small embankment and into the river. Now, everybody was able to get out okay. In fact, there was another driver who saw the accident happen. He came over to help everybody out. They're okay. The tar was towed. The, the car was towed. We spoke with Utah Highway Patrol and to the driver. Both of them say it doesn't take long to spin out of control. You just have to be careful when it's snowing and you're on a canyon road. I just couldn't believe it happened. I didn't really think that we were going to go in. I thought that we'd be fine and stay on the road, but then the car started going towards the river and I just couldn't believe that we were going in there. The snow will accumulate here and cars simply come into this turn too fast for those conditions and, and end up in the river right here. Now, this is a spot, as we mentioned, it's happened a few times in the past. Cars going off the side of the road. Utah Highway Patrol tells us it's happened nine times last year alone. And this is an area the Utah Department of Transportation is concentrating on. They have some guardrails up. They've put up additional signs, especially after that crash back in January where those children went into the river. Coming this spring, once all the snow melts, they're also going to be putting in a high friction surface to try and keep drivers under control when they start to lose control there on the pavement. Everybody was talking about can they widen the road at all? UDOT tells us not really in the middle part of the canyon where these crashes are happening because it is an environmentally sensitive area. That would take quite a bit of work to do it there. At this point, they're just hoping that drivers will take the cues to slow down, be careful, especially when it's snowing outside. Bruce and Dini. All right. Thanks, Alex.